after your troop hosts a cookie booth. It's time to record the results and give your Girl Scouts credit for the cookies they've sold. To do this, you'll use eBuddy's Booth Sale Recorder. With just a few clicks, you can record the variety and number of packages of your troop's sales, transfer credit card payments from your digital cookie troop site to a booth sale, and distribute rewards credit for cookie sales to individual Girl Scouts in your troop. To get started, tap Booths in the eBuddy app's navigation bar. When the date and time of an approved booth sale has passed, its name will be displayed in gray type and you'll see the Record Sale button next to its listing. Tap the Record Sale button to open the Booth Sale Recorder screen. On this screen, enter the number of packages of each cookie variety you sold at the booth, any packages donated to a Gift of Caring or other program, and credit card payments in dollars processed through the troop site during the booth sale. Ensure that your values are correct, tap the Save button, and then tap OK to confirm. Now you'll see a screen where you can distribute credit for sales to the Girl Scouts in your troop. The default selection of the Select Deselect All Girls checkbox tells eBuddy to equally distribute credit to everyone in your troop who participated. Tap the Distribute button to distribute packages to each participating troop member. The number of packages displayed next to each name will change to reflect the calculated distribution. Note that these values won't always be exactly the same, but eBuddy does its best to equally distribute sales credit to all selected Girl Scouts. You can tap the arrow icon next to a name to see the exact number of packages per variety the Girl Scout is being credited with. If you want to distribute credit to only specific Girl Scouts who participated in the cookie booth, just tap the checkboxes next to their names to add or remove them from the calculation. Tap Distribute again, and eBuddy will update each selected Girl Scouts credit. You can also manually enter package values for selected names. Keep in mind that the values you manually enter must be equal to the total number of sold packages you entered in the previous screen. When you're satisfied with the distribution values for each Girl Scout, tap Save and then click OK. You can return to the booth sales screen at any time during the cookie season to update the totals or distribution for your cookie booth. Now, if you view a troop member's individual girl orders screen, you'll see a record of the Girl Scouts credited sales for the cookie booth. On the troop site order screen, you'll also see the digital cookie payment value you entered listed as a payment to your booth sale. Note that this payment record is locked for editing on the troop site order screen. To make any changes, you'll need to return to the booth sale recorder. Thanks for watching.